So guys, welcome to episode number 18 of my FIFA 16 Barcelona career mode. As you guys can see, we're actually kicking off today's episode a little bit different. You guys can see that we're taking a look at my young central tech midfielder, 22 year old that we did recently just sign from Athletic Bilbao for five million pounds. We did sign this man at the beginning of season number one and this, this guy so far this season hasn't done too well. Um, as I did say, we signed him for £5 million from Athletic Bilbao. He's played 11 games, scored one goal, and assisted three goals. So in the comment section down below, guys, I really need your uh, feedback. Should I sell this man when he does come to the beginning of season number two and at the end of season number one? Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Just let me know. He has been quite of a disappointment. When I did sign him at the beginning of the season, I did let you guys know that I didn't really know too much about him, and he was going to be a little bit of say like an experiment we're gonna sign him see how he goes if he does play well say we'll keep him or if he doesn't we will sell him we only signed him for five million pounds I could maybe sell him for six million or I read about that mark seven million pounds so guys in the comment section down below let me know if I should sell our central attacking midfielder that we did sign at the beginning of season number one but we're heading into the first game of today's episode straight away we're coming up against Sevilla in the league in the previous episodes we haven't actually been playing too well. Actually, in the last episode, we copped a 1-0 loss against Los Palmas. Yes, away. We did lose 1-0 to Los Palmas in a very disappointing performance. But in the 29th minute of this game against Sevilla, they're going to look to get on the attack. They've got the ball down the wings as they do whip in across their uh, man inside the area. It does get ahead onto that one, but, Claire, but Bravo sorry, does pull off a save there. And scores are going to remain at Barcelona nil, Sevilla nil. As in the early stages of the second half in the 48th minute to be exact, it's Rafinha who's on the ball. It's Rafinha who takes a shot. His shot is actually going to come off the crossbar and from that Sevilla are going to look to clear the ball and they do do so successfully. But this game against Sevilla was a very tough one you guys could see from the highlights there actually isn't too many highlights in this game but in the 80th minute it's Danny Alves who does well to win win the ball off their midfielder who plays it to Rafinha who plays it to Luis Suarez as Suarez went to get his shot underway uh, the defender was actually in front of him. So guys, this game is actually going to end in a nil-nil draw. Not the best of games, not the most entertaining of games. Both teams really holding possession in this game. And I'll take a nil-nil draw after our previous disappointing performances. I'll take a nil-nil draw against a team like a Sevilla. But obviously, we've got two other games in today's episode. And hopefully from those games, we can we can pick up three points in both of those games. So nil-nil draw against Sevilla in the first game of today's episode as resulting from that game after that game we're actually going to be doing a training session with Neymar and if you guys did miss the uh, previous episode I just let you guys know the Messi is out for three months we're gonna have to deal without Messi uh, for three months and ever since Messi did pick up his injury just really the whole squad our whole performances have gone downhill but Messi is a big player, makes a lot of impact, and he has uh, that injury has made a huge impact on our squad, and we are actually struggling at the moment trying to deal without Messi, as we did have a player, I didn't actually quite see who it was, but I think it was Jordi Alba is going to be out for six weeks, so that is another injury to add to our injury list. As of late, we've had a lot of players picking up injuries, as I did mention just before, the Messi injury. Now, a Jordi Alba injury. We're going to have to deal without those two players, and they're both starting 11 players. Obviously, Jordi Alba is the left back, and Messi out on the right wing, but we're going to have to try and deal without them. Obviously, we have struggled without Messi. Will we struggle without Jordi Alba? You guys have to wait and find out. As we're heading into the second leg of the Spanish Cup, so this is the Copa de España, the second leg in the semi-finals. The first leg did end in a 1-0 win to us. So if we win this game, or even if it's a draw, all we really have to do is keep a clean sheet, and we will go through into the next round of the Spanish Super Cup, which is just awesome to see, guys, us making our way into the final of the Spanish Cup. Will it happen? You guys have to wait and find out. But in the 14th minute of this game, we did have the first opportunity as it's Sampa who plays the ball through to Murray Goethe, who plays it to Ada Turan. It's Ada Turan who's going to take the shot. There's an easy save there from Diego Alves. We're going to have to do a bit more if we do want to get past the Valencia goalkeeper. As the 19th minute, a ball gets played to Goethe again, who plays it to Luis Suarez. And Goethe actually went down from a foul 
from one of, the, one of the Valencia defenders. So I went to maybe just clear the ball out. I wanted that free kick. But as Suarez did play the ball, trying to look to play it through to Goethe, the ball fell straight to Suarez. So Suarez really passed the ball to himself. He ran onto it and made it Valencia nil, Barcelona 1. As in the 42nd minute, it's Goethe yet again on the ball, who's really controlling all our attacks in the central attacking midfield position. A ball gets played through to Turan. Turan's going to cut it inside, play to Fabinho. It's Fabinho who takes the shot. Alves with the save. The ball falls to Luis Suarez from the rebound off the goalkeeper. Going into half time, we're going to be 2 0 in the lead against Valencia, which is awesome to see. And guys, very nice to see that it's actually Turan who's actually stepped up in this game. Obviously, we've got no other right wingers at the moment. I think Munier is our only other right winger alongside Ada Turan that we. That, that we do have fully fit. So Turan really stepping up is what we have to see because we really need Turan firing, obviously, because Messi is going to be out for a couple of months. As in the 71st minute, we're going to look to get an attack, maybe make a 3-0 as Valencia did have their chance during the second half. A ball gets played wide to Neymar, who's going to do well to cut inside. Neymar's going to continue his run, get around a couple more defenders. Can Neymar go himself and the Brazilian Almost pulling off a fantastic solo goal there. And Neymar's shot is denied from Diego Alves. And the game is actually going to end Valencia nil, Barcelona 2. You guys can see another replay of Neymar's chance. That one being saved from the Valencia goalkeeper. So the game is going to end Valencia nil, Barcelona 2. So we pick up a 2-0 win here as Luis Suarez actually picks up both goals after having two shots. It's very nice to see that he's getting... Um, his run of form again. He has been quite. He has been a bit quiet as of late. But it's very nice to see that Suarez is looking like he's back to his best, picking up both goals in this game and send, sending us into the Spanish Cup final and the Copa de España final, which is awesome to see. And we're actually coming up against Sevilla in that final. So Sevilla versus Barcelona, Copa de, Sp Copa de España final, as they did knock out Real Sociedad 3 2. So Sevilla have actually done very well in the Copa de España, also knocking out uh, Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. But heading into the final game of today's episode, coming up against Ibar, and it really is those weak sides that we are struggling against in this season. As I did mention in the last episode, we actually lost against Los Palmas. So let's hope that we don't have another replay of that, that we lose against the side, that we should be picking up all three points against. And you guys will be taking a look at the league table. We are sitting third at the moment, actually six points behind Valencia, who are actually sitting first. And it is sadly Iba who are sitting down in last. And you guys can see it is a mountain to climb for Iba. They've only scored 15 goals this season. We've only conceded 13 goals. So they have only scored two more goals than we than what we have conceded throughout the whole season. You guys, from that stat, Iba are struggling very much in this season at the moment in the league. But they're actually going to start a 4-2-3-1 formation for this game, a team that I should really be in this game. Let's hope that we can continue that good performance against Valencia, sending us through to the Copa de España final that will be being played very, very soon. But this is my side for this game. Surprising to see Douglas out on the right back. Neymar and Lacazette up front in this new 4-2-2-2 formation. So 4-4-2, but it really is a 4-2-2-2 formation. Really with two CDMs, two central attacking midfielders, and two strikers, and obviously four at the back. But in the 21st minute, it was actually Sergio Roberto, really an unlikely goal scorer if he was to put that one into the back net. But Sergio Roberto's shot is well saved there from the Ibar goalkeeper. But in the 27th minute, it's Mateo who actually loses the ball. And from that, Ibar actually going to hit the post. So really, coming up against these weaker sides, we are, we are struggling. Maybe that's just me in game, or maybe it's the team. We're going to look to improve against sort of these weaker sides. And we really do have to pick up the win here against Iba. You guys did see from the league table, we're actually six points behind Valencia. And Valencia was a team that we just bet a game ago 2-0. So we are the better side than Valencia. And we really do have to show that in the league, uh, in the league table from our uh, performances and our results. 
But in the 35th minute, Neymar gives us a 1-0 advantage in this game. Very nice goal there from Neymar, the Brazilian. As in the 67th minute, Douglas does win the ball. He plays it inside to Neymar. And it's Neymar who's this time going to play to Lacazette. Lacazette actually started up front. You guys did see from my starting 11. Starting up front alongside Neymar. And it was very nice to see Neymar playing very well in this game. Could Neymar be a backup striker? Could we use him in the future? In at this 4-4-2, uh, really, 4-2-2-2 formation. You guys have to wait and find out. As in the 89th minute, we attempted to make a 3-0, but our shot was wide of the goal. So that is how we're going to end off today's episode. A 2-0 win against Iber, a 2-0 win against Valencia, a 0-0 draw against Sevilla. Pretty solid result. Pretty solid result in my opinion, guys. And guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you go support it by dropping a like rating. Make sure you drop a comment down below that I can respond to. And make sure you also click subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter on all the latest updates on the channel. And I'll see you all on my next video.